get up. Hello Instagram and the world. I am Jonathan Melendrez from MelendrezDanceStudios.com. I'm a professional ballroom dancer. I'm a wedding dance choreographer. And I'm a three-time Best of the Knot winner. We're jamming to Blurred Lines, Robin Thicke. If uh, you are in the wedding industry, we are asking you to call in, text in. We want to hear from you. Because this theme of this live stream is all about the wedding industry people and uh, to benefit the world and people's weddings. So right now we're going to bring in Neuron. Let's give Neuron some music. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear the music? I can I seem to be frozen, John. I can, you're fine. You're fine, honey. Oh, oh okay. I'm not fine. I'm frozen. So. All right. Now you're frozen. <laughs> anyway, uh, it is Friday at 12 o'clock. If you didn't know, uh, now you know. So, uh, Today, I wanted uh, Neuron's opinion. I hope she can get back on it here. Because, uh, hey, you're back. How you doing? Okay. Maybe it'll work this time. I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, uh, you know, I, I have a few topics I want to talk about today. Uh, okay. The first topic, the first topic uh, that I want to talk about is, is, is to ask people what they want to see on this live stream. We do this live stream twice uh, a week, Monday and Friday, 12 o'clock. And, um, you know, I put on a lot of things, you know, we, you and I, between you and I, we, we, there's always something interesting in, in the show going on. If it's not technical difficulties, then it's wedding nails or, or wedding, you know, wedding vendors. There we go. The nails. Thank you, Venetia. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, I post a lot of interesting things, a lot of dance related, interesting, interesting, things on Instagram and my YouTube and my Facebook channel. But I got to tell you one thing, Neuron, and this never fails. When I post something that I think is fantastic and people are going to love this, I get very minimal views. Now, when I yeah. throw something up that it's just to throw up because I don't have anything else better, I get <laughs> wicked amount of hits. And I don't know, you know, I'm not an Instagram expert. My whole life is my whole career is based on, uh, you know that. So, what do you think, people? You know, you know this is this show is all about wedding industry, wedding vendors. Uh, what do you think, in your opinion? Uh, what do you think would would go well in in the show? Well, I I think it's really smart that you're throwing it out there. You know, throwing the line out to see what kind of response you get from your you know your audience. That's really important. I just, you know, it's like I, I wrote you today and I was thinking about it. I would think that people would be interested in something that they would personally benefit from watching the show. So th that's why I was thinking, like, that's, you know, why I invited Venetia on. Because, I mean, women, my gosh, you know, being able to do our own nails is fantastic. So, um I, with the by show, you know, by showcasing wedding vendors, if the audience is primarily your students that are planning their weddings and need assistance with the photography, the flowers, cake, clothes, hair, you know, whatever it is, I would have thought that that would have been something that would really appeal to people. But maybe we do need to broaden our horizons and see if there is something else out there that they would find appealing. The, uh, you know, can you just repeat that question? Did we freeze? Technical difficulties, yeah. aren't they? Technical great? difficulties. <laughs> You, you got to be a professional and be able to roll with those punches because no yeah. matter how hard you prepare, somebody's going to throw you a punch from <laughs> God's square, right? 
<laughs> like the wedding fails and the and the wardrobe malfunctions. Being able to dance your way through the fact that your costume just fell off in front of two thousand people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got, hey. more wedding, I've got more wedding yeah. fail stories too, by the way, but that's another day. So, you know, it's it's hard to anticipate what uh, what you think people might want. You know, again, you know, I put up a lot of stuff and the thing that I think that people would not be interested in turns viral uh, in, in John's world. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm watching our feed and I see that Florida wedding officiant has joined. Welcome. We're glad to see you. That's something that we have not brought on the show yet was an officiant. I talked about possibly bringing, you know, Esther the Harpist. Her husband is Pastor Paul Underhay and he is an officiant. And that would be something that I would think that would be of interest to people to have an officiant. Do you know Florida wedding officiant? Is this a... Uh, a friend of yours? Uh, I don't know them directly, but I see them online often. Yeah, well, let's, you know, we can talk to him. You could talk to him or her. It could be a woman, you know, um, and and uh, explore that, you know, that possibility. With uh, with all of the micro weddings and the mini monies that are happening right now because of COVID, I know that people are seeking all types of alternative ways to be able to get married. Yes. So officiants, uh, however, caterers are working in these kinds of, uh, you know, in, the, in these kinds of conditions, because you're not going to be throwing a huge party, at, you know, 300 people wedding at uh, at these large facilities. Yeah. So I, I really felt like that would be something that would be of, of primary interest to the audience. Yes, I agree. I agree. Which, which brings me to uh, uh, my next topic that I want to talk about is uh, I, uh, the past few day, a few days ago, I had put out a survey. You know, okay. I used, I used um, a survey monkey and uh, I, I put out a survey, a four question survey, you know, because, uh, you know, face to face lessons right now are just not happening. And uh, yeah. so the best way to have you know, a lesson, uh, whether it's a wedding lesson or a social dance lesson or a Latin lesson is, is virtual, right? Mm -hmm. So I put out, I put out a survey asking people, you know, what would they prefer a virtual lesson or a, a, a face to face or what I call a mask to mask lesson. And I, got this and I responded. Yes. Yes. And you know, what was really interesting? Uh, I would think that you know, the, you know, it would shift, people would shift from a, ver, a real lesson to a virtual lesson, but it came to be, it came, they, my, my, my final result was that it split down the middle. Oh, really? It okay. split down the middle. So most of the people, of course, would love to have a lesson, uh, a private lesson face-to-face -face in a studio, in a ballroom. And, you know, that's totally legit. And, you know, I would too. Uh, but uh, then I thought, okay, people would, would, rather do a virtual lesson because it's in the comfort of their own home they're safe against uh, rona and um you know <laughs> and that's a i haven't heard that little nickname oh, rona. rona oh really yeah you okay you're on a you're on a nickname basis with uh rona these days i see okay okay don't get too close to her though okay <laughs> Very, very, very safe. Eight, ten, twelve, four hundred foot distance, John. We need you to stay around, okay? So, so it was split down the middle, you know. So I figure, you know, if most of the people, if half the people, you know, are interested in, in virtual lessons, then you know, maybe this show and what I'm trying to promote, virtual lessons, uh, would mm -hmm. hit the target. So. You know, we'll see. You know, I have a, a few things coming up that maybe people would uh, would be interested. What do you think? What? What do you do? What are you doing? What do you think? Oh, well, you know what? I'm I'm glad you brought that up because because uh, well, this is what I have uh, going on right now because a lot of people aren't familiar with the schedule of my virtual classes. So, just to let you know, there is a virtual classroom at Melendra's Dance Studios. And so if you go there, you will find that my virtual lessons are Tuesdays at 7 o'clock p.m., which is a cha-cha class. 
And that's a great fun because there's a lot of people in that class that love to have fun and learn uh, cha-cha rhythms, the basic cha-cha. We even, we even go into some choreography, which is a lot of fun. And it gets people up and moving and getting a good sweat going on. So that's on Tuesdays at 7 o'clock. Now, on Fridays, Fridays, there's a slew of people that love to learn uh, salsa. So I teach, I teach a Miami-style salsa on Friday nights at 6.30. Uh, so if you're interested, I want everyone to sign, go to uh, Melendra's Dance Studios. You'll go to group classes, and then you'll click on royalpalacedance.com. So there's a lot of things out there that, uh, that we're doing. So again, the virtual group classes are Tuesdays at seven o'clock, cha-cha, and Fridays at 6.30. So I want everyone to realize that and to know that we've got uh, stuff going on so that they can add to their social calendar and continue learning their dancing and training. Because this coronavirus is not going to last. You know, we're all going to get out of it. So why are you going to sacrifice your dancing? You know, just continue dancing. And I also have another workshop coming up, too. The workshop is the, uh, what did I say, the 18th of this month. And that's going yeah. to be a great class because I'll be teaching material that people uh, don't know about. It's a cha-cha virtual class. It starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, I go into intermediate cha-cha techniques, and then we're going to put it to music. So it's a whole hour of just slam music and slamming dance technique and doing it to music. So I want to encourage everyone to take the class. If you're new to dancing, and if you're new to virtual, uh, this was also part of my survey. I want the people to email me. Send me an email because I am giving away a 30 minute group, uh, 30 minute lesson, whether it's a group class to try or if it's a private lesson they want to try. If they email me and request a free 30 minute lesson, I'll be more than happy to give it away to anybody who asks for it. OK, but this this offer is not going to last forever because I'll be doing what? free lessons for, you know, all the time. So I want everyone to call in or call or actually email would be better because, uh, you know, email me, what, request it. What's your email address, John? Good question. It's ask.john <laughs> at melindrasdancestudios.com. So it's... Ask dot John? Yeah, and that's J-O-N. Ask okay. dot J-O-N at melindrasdancestudios.com. Okay. Cool. So by now I should get I should get like a slew of people asking for free <laughs> lessons. But it's just a limited time offer. I can only do it for so much because there's only so much time during the day that I can do it. Now, are, is that offer for new students only, or are you offering that to your existing uh, client base who have not yet? taken a virtual lesson with you? What are the uh, parameters? Well, you know, I'm glad you asked that because some of my current students aren't doing anything. So I want to mm -hmm. offer it to my current students. And Perfect. I want to also offer it to, you know, new students because new students, well, new people, whether they're current, my current uh, students or new students aren't familiar or are scared of virtual lessons, but it's not scary. It's fun. It's easy. And just give it a try. It's a free 30-minute lesson. What the hell? I wanna I wanna know what a virtual lesson is like. I, I uh um months ago I accidentally wound up on a Zoom swing dance class. I didn't realize that when I clicked in that I would be in the class. So um, I, I, you know, I watched it for a little while. I was actually in the middle of something else. And, I, you know, you're sitting there in front of your computer and stuff comes flying across your screen, your screen. So I clicked on it, but I didn't actually participate in the class. And so I'm looking forward to your, your uh, thing on the 18th because we'll be able to actually experience it firsthand. And I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, the 18th is it's a it's a great fun class. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to see other people in the class, too, which is always exciting, okay. because the people in the class, so people, the people in the class are from all over. They're from all over okay. the, the East Coast, New Hampshire, Boston, 
uh, everywhere, Florida. It's, it's really interesting. So people need to be sure to put pants on for the <laughs> virtual. <laughs> yes, yes. For this virtual lesson, it's good to have uh, pants on. Because, <laughs> <Or skirt. laughs> because no one knows right now. They can't really tell that I don't have any on. <laughs> but let me tell you, it's liberating. I'll bet. Yeah, yeah. I get dressed up for these. I want to. Uh, I want to give you my best and give your audience the best that I have to offer. So uh, I have on a little, uh, a little salsa frock right now, just in case uh, you might throw something at us. I mean, you never know. You may, we we may get a free step and never even know. So I'm. I'm ready to go here in my dancing dress. I've, I've even got on dancing shoes. You do. Angela Naran dancing shoes. <laughs> you know, Angela Naran dancing shoes. I got to tell you, everyone that I've been coming across has at least one pair of Angela Naran dancing shoes. Oh, super yeah. smart ladies. Yes. Very smart. You know, I got to yeah. gotta share something that's totally off topic. Oh, cool. Okay. This is totally something new to me. Never have I in my entire life have done this. What? Okay. This is chocolate floss. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Seriously? Totally. And? Totally. I floss my teeth no. often, but never yeah. have I ever flossed my teeth with chocolate flavored floss this is totally off topic because we're always talking about dancing and wedding first dances but i gotta tell you this morning my wife bought this for me and i looked at her like this is totally crazy but i always floss my teeth with mint flavor so you know if they have mint they have chocolate flavored floss who knew that's that's crazy Hey, James, James Jacoby is on. Hi, James. Hey, James. James is up, James is up in Chicago. He's um, one of the retailers that carries my brand of shoes. He also makes his own beautiful Italian shoes. So um, he's a, a phenomenal fellow. Gosh, James, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Let's ask James if he's ever tried chocolate floss. <laughs> Just so that he knows what we're talking about. James, have you ever tried flossing your teeth with chocolate floss? Probably <laughs> mint floss, but no one that I know has ever tried chocolate floss. I've never even heard of chocolate floss. And James, we usually do talk about more pertinent stuff, but <laughs> hey, today, today it's just John and me, and we're just, uh, you know, uh, seeing what's going to come flying out of our mouths. And apparently chocolate floss is what's flying out of our mouths today. It really okay. is. Chocolate floss. I got to tell you, I was, I, was, I was impressed because it did taste like chocolate. And, you know, I'm a chocolate-holic. And, uh, you know, it inspired me to floss my teeth more often. Okay. So healthy, healthy gums are very important. So uh, I really don't have much else to share uh, regarding that, John. I'm, I've kind of scraped the bottom of the barrel on, on dental floss. So um, <laughs> Jim says I'm boring and usually do plain and flavorless floss. But at least he's flossing. That's important. At least you're flossing. Yeah. Chocolate <laughs> floss is just a luxury. As long as you're flossing, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> He'd rather eat it. I get it. So would I. Totally, totally understand that. Hey, uh, Naran, from your angle, I wanted to bring uh, to attention these awards here. Can you see these awards? I see them very clearly, and I see them on every show, and I understand that you are an award-winning uh, dancer and choreographer and that you have been the best of the knot for three years. You know, Congratulations. You are brilliant. You are a brilliant and that is why you are my sidekick on my live stream uh, shows. <laughs> also because just like I can follow you on the dance floor, I do my best to follow you through these live feeds. You've got to be able to pick up those cues, you know? So... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully I'm, I'm following you well enough. Yeah, James says that he picks up Italian floss when he goes to Italy. <laughs> he goes to Italy a lot, although COVID has really thrown a curve 
um, in his uh, travel. He's also an instructor at the university up in Chicago. So um, he's having to struggle with this live classes, virtual classes, how to, you know, how to continue to teach students. So, um, so many challenges for so many people in so many ways. I, with all of I tell you, you know, I, I need to go to uh, Boston to go see mom, but uh, you know, this whole, this whole Rona virus, she's everywhere. And uh, how do you avoid that? And, and especially living in Florida, which I'm, I don't know for sure, but are we still the capital of Ronaville? Because we're the highest, uh, highest state that has the coronavirus? I think so, yes. Do we really want to get into that <laughs> politically? You know, uh, you know where I stand on that. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So everybody yeah. try to stay safe, yeah. So. so I want to ask everybody to make a comment below, whether they're here live or they're uh, after the fact, to send a comment to us and let us know what they would like to see on the on the uh on this live feed because it is dance related and uh you know mm -hmm. maybe if i uh, showed a video a dance video during the show or maybe i could show everybody like a basic step during the show or maybe a live ver maybe like a live a live lesson yeah i think that would be a great idea i'd like to hear yeah. from everybody to see what they what, what they think James, are you at the? Are you at your shop right now? Or are you at home? Let's see. see if he can. I'd love to see the inside of his shop. He's got a, a very unique setup where um, the the high end bridal salons in Chicago will send their brides directly to James Chicotti, and then he fits them for shoes. Uh, there he's not doing it in the store he's doing it um they're they're private fittings basically so oh, really? he's at home okay. yeah well maybe maybe one day we can uh, get a little tour a live tour of uh of james's facility up in chicago so john i think that idea of showing people a live step on the show yeah. would 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 have a lot of appeal um i know that as you know as someone that's interested in virtual lessons, it would give anybody uh, an idea of what a virtual lesson would be. Just a little snippet. Little you little know, snippet. on that idea, I am going to post a, a video this afternoon that I've been, I've been working on a couple of videos. So, you know, I thought, you know, maybe no one knows what a virtual lesson is all about. So yeah. I've worked on a video that I'm going to post this afternoon about what what is a virtual lesson so okay. so after the show today i am going to post this uh on my story and uh on my my regular feed uh a video of what a lesson looks like okay some basic steps sounds... would be nice right yeah james is saying some basic steps would be nice to see i agree with james i think that would be uh something you were asking what would your audience like to tune in and, and, and experience. And if you can give people something like that, I think that would be very appealing. You know, maybe we can arrange something to do it on, uh, on Monday. Maybe we can do something like that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. You're in? I'm ready. Nice. <laughs> you know, maybe what I'll do is, as I'll teach the class, I'll bring you on and you just follow me. Follow the lesson. Are you going to reach through the phone? You, are those arms going to come reaching through the no, not like that, like this. No, give me more of that. No, less of this. Turn better. Turn your head when you spin. <laughs> oh, this is this is this is crazy. This, but it's fun. This is totally groundbreaking, uh, groundbreaking material that we're doing. I feel like a version of like Howard Stern. You know how Howard Stern just changed radio. John Melendres is gonna change live streaming dance <laughs> okay i'll be there i can't wait With the huge huge audience that follows uh, yeah well you know what you, small steps you know you, when i look when i was learning argentine tango the first thing that we had to learn to do even though i've been doing it for years was walk so it's going to be the same thing here yeah. small steps 
Yes. Yes. Build on those small steps. Small Build steps. On those yeah. So I am. I am gonna uh, Monday. Uh, we will get together online, or or maybe we'll do a, a you know maybe we'll we'll do a video chat or something, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can put together a uh, a little video lesson on Monday and and okay. see what happens. I mean, I what's, I what's the worst that could right. happen? People not tune in. <laughs> the worst that could happen would be. Um, yeah, that would be the worst thing. Yeah. No, the worst that could happen would be the technical difficulties where we can't connect. That's even worse because all that effort. People don't realize how much effort we put into these little shows. You know, it's a, it's you don't just wake up looking like this. You know, I, I, have, you don't? I have to do all of this. <laughs> so after today, I am going to post on my storyboard. Right? I'm going to post, whoops. For beginners, it would be nice to have a few minutes overview of ballroom dancing, then break it down to different classifications with some simple first step moves. That's a great idea. Thank you, James. Yeah. We really appreciate your feedback. Thank you. I love this song. So, so to cap off today, I'm going to post a video about virtual lessons, what it looks like. And on Monday, we'll do uh, our own version of, uh, of a lesson, virtual, virtual lesson. I'll be there for you. You're sa your faithful sidekick. I'll be there. You are awesome. You are awesome. Love you, Naran. Have a good afternoon. Love Tell you Paul too. I said, hey. I will. Bye. Bye, Bye James. I'll keep you online. Bye. Okay, so there you go. Today at one o'clock, I am going to post a video about virtual lessons and stay tuned for Monday where we're going to actually have a virtual lesson that everybody can join and um, see what it's like. So everybody stay safe. Please wear a mask for yourself and other people and uh, have a great day.